you know, for me, this is a, uh, a personal event, really for a couple of reasons. 31 years ago, almost to the day, uh, Gwen and I bought our first home, and it was in Bear Branch. And there are many people out here who we've known pretty much that whole time. And if you looked east from Bear Branch at that time, it all looked like this over here. Kingwood wasn't even back here. And it's grown and it's grown and it's grown. And of course, uh, I was the state representative when the first Kingwood Library was open. And what's, what's really touching about all that is that you see a community. You see generations come and go and you see the vitality just continue. And so today is just another step. And long after we're gone, there'll be somebody else out here in Kingwood keeping this community vibrant. And, and, and to, you know, quote Kips, that's just way cool. I, you know, I, I really like that. The second reason this is a particularly personal uh, moment for me, you know, I've long believed, I didn't know I was going to be back in government. Uh, many, of, many of you, after I left Kingwood, didn't think I was ever going to be back in government either. But one of my core beliefs has always been, the mayor put it in business terms, and I put it in political terms, you know, when we have a common project, we really ought to be able to get together and do it. And it shouldn't be uh, finger pointing, and it shouldn't be, well, this is our turf or your turf. I mean, we ought to all be able to sit down and work together. And what really makes that happen, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on two people, uh, two people who have become very good friends of mine, uh, one who's been a good, good friend for decades, which means he's really old, uh, and that, that's Commissioner Eversole. In all of government, uh, I've never met anybody who did more to focus on the needs of a community and take care of that community. So we're here today uh, largely because of Commissioner Eversole and a lot of what he's done. And the other person is a person who I got to know really after I became county judge. I guess we'd met before then. Uh, but that's Bill White. Uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, it appeared we were joined at the hip uh, there for a few weeks. But the truth of the matter is, again, a person who runs an entire government who focuses on solving the problems. What are the needs of the community? And once you figure it out, let's not duplicate. Let's just get together and make it happen. And then finally, uh, those of us who have had long connections to Kingwood, uh, you know, there was a time when they really didn't want to be part of the city of Houston. Uh, I, I hate to bring up bad subjects there, but I remember uh, those days. But now that it's here, and now that they are, uh, the people in Kingwood are really people who want to get things done. And it's a fantastic community. And this is just another step in making sure that the greater Kingwood community remains vital. Long after we're gone from government, probably long after we're gone, period, the next generation, and I'm just real proud to be part of this facility that's going to serve generations to come. So thank you very much. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, it is indeed a pleasure to be here. Judge Emmett, thank you for your uh, a thoughtful and kind words. Mayor White, welcome to the country. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you and have you at any of our functions. Uh, the problem with being the uh, third speaker at any event is uh, if the people speaking in front of you are smart enough, they've already said everything that needs to be said. Uh, in this case, I, I think both these gentlemen qualify for being smart enough and uh, Obviously, they have said everything that needs to be said. I would like, if I may, to uh, uh, simply say thank you to Addie Wiseman. Uh, Addie, as uh, a city council member, uh, began talking to me years ago about uh, Harris County and the city of Houston getting together and doing this project. And so Addie, uh, with uh, Mike Sullivan ser serving on the on the part that got this done, uh, this community owes you a great deal of thanks also. 
There's another lady here who is a an everyday citizen who uh, just bothered the living hell out of me about this project to the point where I finally said, calf rope, get the money and let's do it. Francis Phelan. Helen, Helen, I think I said it wrong. Where are you, Francis? Stand up. I promise you that every month I got some sort of article out of the paper or handwritten by Francis that reminded me that I had said one day there will be a dynamic library in the Kingwood area. So Francis, these folks owe you and have given you the recognition that you deserve and thank you. Uh, the other person I would like to thank is my wife, Pat. And uh, Pat, uh, even though she looks like my daughter, <coughs> Uh, has been married to me for 43, two years. <laughs> 42 years. And I finally realized that we're going to make it to 50. Uh, and I'm excited about that. I, I bring with me from the uh, district clerk's office presented by Margaret Wolf, who I think is a citizen of this area. Uh, she is the director of the Criminal Bureau for... for uh, Harris County District Clerk, and this is a presentation of achievement that I will leave, Doctor, uh, for y'all to do what y'all wish with it. I also have a resolution from uh, county government that was signed at Commissioner's Court, and it was given to me, which is the biggest mistake you could do, <laughs> because it didn't make it the trip today. <laughs> but it will be given to uh, uh, the Friends of the Library and uh, that's, that's pretty much what I've got to say. Thank each of you. Uh, wishing each of you um, a very, very happy holidays. And uh, I look forward to uh, being here whenever uh, Judge Emmett and Senator, Governor, uh, ex-mayor, uh, Bill White uh, comes out to, uh, to uh, help us dedicate this facility. Mike Sullivan, thank you. And uh, I look forward to doing other projects with not only the city of Houston, but for and with the residents of this community. So thank each of you. <laughs>